What is up, my brethren? This is Heckle TV. I am Jarvis Black. Thank you for coming back. All right, let's face it. We do not respect our elders in this country. We just don't. As soon as our family members get old, we pack them up and FedEx them to Florida. I buried some woman to Florida! Or we shove them into a nursing home and hope they don't call every day, describing in great detail their bowel movements and hip pain. And ten. Ten. But hey, it's one thing when we throw our betters in the trash because we're too busy learning dance moves for TikTok. <laughs> and it's quite another when the government or banks do it. Uh-uh, not on my watch. Uh-uh. So today we're going to talk about two stories that exemplify how the government and the banks don't respect our elders. Shame. Shame on you. A sinner comes before you. All right, so let's get to these stories. <laughs> An 89-year-old New Jersey woman named Glenn Christie Goldenthal nearly lost her home that she's lived in for 50 years because she owed six, that's not six, Idiot. six, six cents in back taxes. A whopping six cents. And do you wanna know how much my mother owed? Six cents, six pennies. City officials in Ocean Township, New Jersey put the woman's house up for sale after the six cents that she owed had accrued into $300. The woman did receive a warning call from a tax collector, but she has Alzheimer's disease. She didn't remember the phone call. She didn't remember that this was an issue. Her story started to receive traction when her daughter posted a TikTok. I spent the entire day saving her home. The daughter claims that the tax collector said that he recognized that something was wrong and that the woman probably didn't understand. And when I talked to him about it, he said he realized immediately that there was something wrong. Nevertheless, they proceeded with the sale of the house anyway. Need I remind you to pay back six cents. Six pennies. The situation has since been resolved and the daughter paid her back taxes and the mayor has apologized for the situation and he's actually lobbying to try to get some laws changed. The city government, the city officials tried to sell an 89 year old woman's house who has Alzheimer's and didn't understand what was happening because she owed six cents. Six pennies. And not a single person involved in that paperwork or the tax collector, or anybody involved said, you know what? I think I have six cents, maybe in my couch cushion, maybe in my car. Nobody did anything. How did nobody recognize that something wrong was happening here? Literally nobody raised a red flag, did anything, tried to contact the woman's family or anything else. I don't know, it kind of makes me wonder too, whoever filed that paperwork knew that it was only six cents that was owed, yet they were gonna sell a house that's probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Are they making commission here? You can't come up with any alternative? She could have sold a square of toilet paper for six cents or anything for that matter. Throw something on Craigslist or offer up or Facebook marketplace. The woman has Alzheimer's and she doesn't even realize that the situation is completely over with. Her daughter says she calls her all the time asking her if she needs to pack her stuff, if she's going to lose her house. It is just an awful situation and it's all because the local government didn't care about somebody in their community. Our second story of disrespect, a 76 year old woman named Judy Kashner. She couldn't refinance her house to pay for a septic tank because Wells Fargo reported her as being deceased. A lot of people might think 76 is old, but she's not dead yet, slow down. So her estate initially received a letter claiming that she had died in 2019. She initially thought this was funny and just laughed it off. However, that laughter quickly turned into frustration when her and her husband had their refinancing denied. The report said that their income was not available. This was due to the fact that not only had Wells Fargo sent her a letter saying that she died and denied a credit card, when Wells Fargo went and reported to the three major credit bureaus that the woman had passed away. Now, Wells Fargo has declined to comment on the situation, saying that they're trying to respect the woman's privacy. They said they normally require a social security number and a death certificate, but for some reason, not in this case. The situation was ultimately resolved, but the woman, Miss Kashner, still has unresolved non-estate charges on her credit card from the bank. Wells Fargo says that they're investigating the situation. Wells Fargo is one of the nation's largest banks. They're just, they're huge. And they don't exactly have 
the best record. They agreed to a $3 billion settlement after investigations showed that they were charging customers unnecessarily for accounts that they didn't ask for just so that they could meet sales quotas. And they allegedly forced customers to buy car insurance and pay for bogus fees on their mortgages. They don't exactly have a stellar reputation, which I don't know, big surprise. The big bank doesn't have a good reputation. So look, I guess I don't know what to tell you at the end of all this, except that the moral is probably one, don't get old and banks and governments are going to try to screw you over. Keep your money in a sock under a mattress. All right. And that's where I'm going to end today's video. Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys had any unfortunate encounters where the government's tried to sell your house or banks have tried to declare you dead? I think we should share more of these stories. I don't think they should go unnoticed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button. Give it a little until it turns blue. If you're new here and you like content like this and you want to see this mug more often, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning, midnight, whatever it happens to be. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Eighty-nine year old New Jersey woman. Oh my god, New Jersey. <laughs> Eighty-nine <laughs>